So we have discussed what are the various types of tumor markers, to what different classes they belong and their utility of course we will discuss in the subsequent slides, but how to measure or detect these tumor markers. Tumor markers may be there in the serum or in the tissue and how best we can detect them, what are the methods that the lab people use to detect the tumor markers. Fundamental method is of course the ELISA test uh, to pick up the tumor markers. The second test is the immunohistochemistry also called the IHC wherein the tumor markers present in the tissues are identified by immunohistochemical methods. Of course, polymerase chain reaction or PCR is used to detect the genetic material or the DNA or the RNA. When the RNA is there, we use RT-PCR, reverse transcriptase PCR. When it is DNA amplification, we use ordinary PCR to detect the genetic materials which are used as tumor markers. There is another technique called fluorescence in situ hybridization FISH also called the FISH. This particular technique is used to fluorescein the tumor antigen antibody complexes by hybridoma technique or hybridization technique. There are sometimes what are called the cluster kits or all in one kit which has some profiles, some patterns, some prototypes and some constellations can be formed and depending on this all in one kit we can focus and say ok this particular patient throws this profile, this pattern uh, and this gets into this prototype or constellation. So much so the area that we need to look into is probably liver or probably the ovary or probably the uterus like that we can uh, classify the patients depending on the cluster kits. The methods of analysis of these tumor markers, expression of single proteins, expression of multiple proteins, chip analysis or all in one kits, expression of protein profiles also called as proteonomics, gene methylation at the DNA level, people who have methylation and people who do not have methylation, they fare differently for chemotherapy as well as for radiotherapy. So, depending on the gene methylation level, we can prognosticate a particular patient. Gene identification and gene mutations studied as genomics and also what is called the genome mapping or genome ID scan also called the G scan. So, scan of the whole genome of the patient uh, that gives what is called the G scan. These are some of the modern uh, latest techniques that are used like proteomics, the gene methylation techniques, genomics and G scan are, are very sophisticated techniques to analyze the different tumor markers. Listed in this slide are some of the common markers used which can be used in clinical practice. The human chorionic gonadotrophin highly specific for choriocarcinoma, beta HCG specific for ovarian cancers and chorea cancer, carcinoembryonic antigen though it is a very good test, it is non-specific and not tell which particular tumor it is, alpha feta proteins particularly for the liver, Benz-John proteins for the multiple myeloma, beta 2M which is again specific for beta 2 macroglobulinemia, BTA which is bladder tumor antigen which is again a specific marker, CGA or chromogranin A again for the adrenal cancers, CA153 again a non-specific one but still again useful for some of the cancers, CA199, CA724, CA27.29 and CA125 these are all different markers which are useful either in the ovarian cancers or in the pelvic cancers related to the um, in genitourinary tract or sometimes of the liver. Most important in the breast cancer are the uh, receptors, estrogen receptor and the progestin receptors, HER, human epidermal receptor 2, NU, NEU, CEBR D2 is also a marker of the breast cancer and BRCA1 and BRCA2 are the genetic markers uh, of breast cancer. These are some of the markers which are used in clinical practice, some more are there on the next slide.
in this slide are listed some of the other markers some of which are less common uh, some of them are very commonly used LASAP NM22 PSA prostate specific antigen very commonly used PSMA yes 100 in melanoma PSMA is highly specific for prostate whereas PSA also is very specific for prostate cancer TA90 which is a non significant one TGA IgA IgD GM these are tumor antibodies TPA and then alkaline phosphatase in metastasis alpha amylase in pancreatic cancers SIADH ACTH and ADH GT2 vanillin mandelic acid and HVA derivative of vanillin mandelic acid very specific for uh, adrenal medullary tumors polyamines and genes like Keras and K62 and chromosomes particularly P53 Philadelphia chromosome these are some of the uh, other important markers though they are less commonly used some of them like prostate um, specific antigen or PSMA uh, or the VMA are very commonly used.